guys welcome back to my youtube channel today uh i'll be making let's see eucalyptus um and this one's from rustic essentials it smells really good um i've got my oils here at room temp and my lye water is already room temp with my silk in it i'm going to go ahead and add um my kale and clay here to my oils before i get started It's all mixed in here today. Um, so what I'm going to be doing for colors um, is I've got three colors. I've been trying lots of new colors, and so I ordered some sample packets to try them out. So the first one I wanted to try was the Enchanted Forest Mica from Rustic Essentials. And this is kind of what it looks like. It's, oops, almost spilled it. it's a really nice um, forest green color. And then the other color I'm going to be using is called Almost Ice also from Rustic Essentials, and it is really, really a pretty blue color. I don't know if you guys can see that. So I'll be using that one, and then I also thought I would throw in um, this one. This is the Color Joy Mica in basic purple, but look at that gorgeous, gorgeous purple. So I thought I would just try that, and I won't do any white in this one, just those three colors. So I'm going to go ahead and get my lye water in here and give that a stir, and then we'll go ahead and get started. good so far. So I'll move these out of the way here. And then I'm going to go ahead and get my three cups here. Move my stick blender out of the way so you guys can see. Let's see. Okay, yep, everything's on the camera. So I'm going to go ahead and pour off equal parts if I can, or just whatever is pretty close to equal. I think this one's going to be really pretty when it's cut. I'm going to do a chopstick swirl in here, I think. Uh, let's see. I really need to find my hanger tool, though. I don't know. I have misplaced it somewhere. I'm in the process of organizing my kitchen, too, though. I'm um, going to be adding a second shelf unit for curing and stuff like that. And then also for, like, supplies and storage of um, just different things, so... So that's everything there. I'm going to go ahead and get the colors in there before I get the fragrance in. I made some bath bombs in that eucalyptus fragrance. I haven't even listed them yet, but um, they are ready to go. They smell really good, too. I had some left to try. So I'm going to leave a little bit of that one. Actually, maybe a little bit of all of them. I hope this 
purple stays because I think that is just a gorgeous purple color. All right. I really like that green too. That's pretty. Those colors guys let's try the purple all right put these off to the side I think I'll give them all a quick buzz after I add the fragrance oil here. my green. Try to get all that out of there. Sometimes it leaves quite a bit behind. Okay, there we go. Okay, I can give these all a quick blend and then we will get started. Gorgeous colors. I am super happy with these. They look really pretty. All right, now how to pour it. All right, so here again, I got my 10 inch mold here. Hmm. I think, you know, I'm just a chopstick so right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the green down so sparkly. It's such a pretty green color. I'm going to get some of that blue in there. Mmm. Definitely a nice eucalyptus. I can I have to order some of this blue. I am love, love, loving this blue color right here. Let's see how it holds up in the soap. I think it's just beautiful. Ooh, I'm getting the sinus treatment while I'm making this soap. Opening them right up. <laughs> Such a fresh smell, too. a really fluid soap. I'm surprised. If I would have known it was going to stay really fluid, I might have tried some tricks. But I do have enough to make another loaf, and I will be doing that, so 
Next time, I'm going to try some, um, I might try a faux funnel pour. I think those are pretty. Except I think I'll hang or swirl it, though, after I do the pour. So many plans, so much soap. <laughs> had eucalyptus requested a long time ago though and I've been trying to get to it and I'm like it is high time I made some eucalyptus soap so that is that I also think I'm going to be ordering more of the purple I do love the purple vibrance from Nurture Soap, but this is really pretty purple too. I'm having second thoughts about swirling it. I don't even know what to do anymore. I don't know what to do. It's so pretty. I bet it looks really pretty inside already. I don't know. Um, I might just give it a light swirl with a chopstick, maybe. Okay, I'm going to give it a little bit of a swirl with said chopstick, and then I'm going to go ahead and put these other colors, the rest of it, on top. So, not tons of stuff, but a little bit of stuff. And I think I'll go back through the other way. I don't want to get too funky in there, just a little bit. <clears throat> okay. What's this here spot? I think I'll start with the green. This mold holds my recipe perfectly. I love it. I actually ordered two more because I have three, but sometimes when I make soap, I like to make a lot of soap at once, and so that way I'll be able to do that. I mean, I do work full time as well as um, make a lot of soap and uh, my other products and stuff. So it does, it's really time consuming, but I enjoy it. It's a great hobby and, you know, um, I do it for fun and I do it because of the family and, um, you know, everybody likes to use the soap. And I have a lot of local friends and people that um, are pretty spoiled and they really won't use anything else. So um, I just make a lot of soap and keep it on hand and then... I usually have enough extra to list or sell, so, um, so I'm not in it as like a, not trying to, you know, have a mega millionaire corporation. I just, um, enjoy making it mostly and then, you know, I had a, quite a stockpile and I'm like, well, I wonder what I should do with all this soap. I should probably think of, um, you know sharing some with people on Etsy and things, so that's kind of how that came about for me. I didn't intend on um, making soap to start a business or anything like that. That's not, was never my intention, but you enjoy it so much, you end up making a lot, and then pretty soon you're like, oh my gosh, I have so much soap. So that's kind of how it happened for me. I had, um... I just really needed a new hobby. I've got a lot of hobbies, probably way too many hobbies because I'm a gamer. I play World of Warcraft, so I do that. Um, and then besides that, I 
I like to read a lot, and then I also um, play music. I'm a guitarist, and so um, I try to do that. So I really have a lot of irons in the fire, so to run a business <laughs> isn't my main purpose. Like I said, I, I do it because I have such a surplus of soap because I enjoy making it, but, um, you know, I enjoy that part of it, too. It's fun to have a business that, you know, you do occasional things with, but... you know I always think it's interesting to kind of see why people soap or you know just uh, hear a little bit about them or you know why they got into it or how come you know I don't know the whys of what what do they enjoy about it the most and things like that like I enjoy watching a lot of videos. It gives me a lot of inspiration as far as colors and uh, stuff like that. But I'm always also looking at decorations and things like to try to get color ideas and things that go good together. And I happen to be a huge lover of purple and green. So I try not to do too many soaps in those colors. But sometimes I can't help it. It's just so pretty. Just about got all the purple out of here, so I have lost things in my kitchen somehow. I can't find my glitter and I can't find my hanger tool. Oh, I'm just a big old mess today. All right, there's that. Man, 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 that is a strong fragrance. It's it's a nice strong fragrance, but that's great. That's how it should be. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and get my chopstick here and just do a little bit of swirling on top. Okay, and that is that, you guys. That is going to be my eucalyptus soap. And I'll bring you up a little closer so you can see it. Just did some cute swirls in there. I'm going to go ahead and get that alcohol spritz and set it to the side. And um, I will bring you back with a cutting video so we can see how it looks inside. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a great night. Hi, you guys. Welcome back to my channel. I'm getting ready to cut the eucalyptus soap. Um, so I am excited to see how the soap looks inside. After I turn the camera off, um, I had forgotten that I saved a little bit of all the colors of mica. So I did go ahead and do like a mica drizzle on top and just kind of swirled that around. So that's how the top turned out. This one's a little soft, but I'm going to go ahead and get it cut so it can go ahead and start curing. So let's see how this one does inside. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. It has a lot of the purple and the green that I used, which was that, that Enchanted Forest, I think. Really, really loved these colors together. Oh my gosh, the smell is definitely there. Woo, it smells good. Let's try this one here. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy with this soap. I love it. And then the top has the mica drizzle, some swirlies. Really, really a pretty soap. Okay. I'm so excited. Half the fun of making the soap is just waiting to see what the cut's going to look like. It's just like the suspense. <laughs> okay, here's another one. I'm loving those colors together. Wow. I didn't want to do just a blue, white, and green like eucalyptus. I... I'm trying to think outside the box with my color schemes, and 
I thought, why not throw some of that gorgeous purple that I'm trying from Rustic Essential in there and see how that does in the soap. So it gives a chance for me to test out a new purple color as well as um, have some variety in the soaps too. That's a pretty one. That one there. Let's see. I'm trying to think when these will even be ready. I'm thinking, well, it's beginning of September, so end of September for these soaps. And they'll be up in the Etsy shop then, but they just look beautiful. I'm so happy with that. I'm glad I decided to go with um, without the white, honestly. I like the white in some soaps, just not every single time. Make the neck and full on the other side. Okay, a couple more to cut and we'll be good. Got a little crooked on the cut there just a tad. Two more bars out of that. Okay. And then this one here is the end piece. And then I'll just plane the outside of that off because that's not as pretty, but I will take care of that part of it. But again, there's the top with the mica swirl. So thanks for watching, guys. I really appreciate it. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe. There will be lots more soap and fun to come. So I really appreciate you guys hanging out with me tonight. So take care and have a good one. I'll see you guys soon. Bye.